this is Cypher Deck, and today we're here with a group of friends, as you know. And I'm just going to go ahead and go through everybody who's here. Hydro Sync. Thoom, the Barbarian! <laughs> How are you doing tonight, sir? I'm doing great, man. How are you, my friend? I'm doing good, as always. All right, the next person on our list is uh, Mr. AC Gamer. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode. How are you doing this evening? Uh, I'm doing great, man. Uh, this is a zone that I, to be honest, never really came to all that much uh, back in the day. So this is kind of a new experience, which is, uh, in essence, kind of uh, really cool to go back to that and actually see something new in this game that I'm, uh, you know, very familiar with. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm very happy to be here. This is we have a chance for good loot and good experience as well. Uh, let me go ahead and introduce the next person, Mr. Lokane Games. Ooh, Lokane Gaming, playing the Berenstein Bears yet again. <laughs> Yay, bears! So you looted a, um, a piece for a quest for a weapon that you probably won't end up using. Tell us about it. <laughs> I got the uh, Bloody oh, Cougar Bone. It it's on the my screen right now for all to look. I don't know much about the, um, the hand in, but if I get the other piece, I might as well hand it in anyway. Absolutely. I always have a second weapon on hand. Um, you never know. You might actually use it over the one you have now. And then, of course, we huh? have uh, Chupa playing as Monk. Playing Soju tonight. Hello. And then we also have a bard joining us in the group. So, how are you guys liking it so far? Iceclad's awesome, man. I, I love this song, dude. I've all, uh, this is one of the first places. I, this is actually the first place that I ever quad kited back in the day. Uh, I got my druid up to a, a. My druid was one of the later characters that I ever played. Yeah. And I remember the first thing that he did, the first thing that he quad kited were the dire wolves. So I, I forget what level he was when he did so, but um, uh, I remember that being the. Uh, I was so amazed that I'd actually quad kited four mobs, and I was so happy and so excited. Uh, you know, it, it really kicked off my druid as being one of the, my favorite classes because of that. So, so do so I, I've got history, history with as as playing a wizard. I know for me, I do a big AOE damage. What do you do as far as quad cutting? Do you have a damage or dots? Because I know you guys are dot heavy. Basically, uh, what I do is I um I target each individual mob and, uh, you know, four mobs in succession. And first I snare them. And then basically I run them around in circles or run them uh, and get them all stacked on top of each other. So they're very neat. And then I cast, uh, I think it's careless lightning. It's a, a an area effect direct damage spell. Okay. And so basically I nuke them down till they die. And uh, if I do it right, they all die at once. And I get all that experience and all that loot at once, and it's just, it's a great feeling, man. It's its very exciting. So I, now I know wizards can do the same thing, but, but wizards get an area effect snare, correct? Yes, but I know, and this is something that I've always uh, contested, is that for me, I don't use the area effect snare. I think it actually hinders you more than it helps you. Because if it uh, doesn't land on all of them, which it has a high resist rate, then you're dealing with two mobs who are snared, two who aren't, and if the two mobs that aren't snared get to you before you can cast it again, you can actually snare yourself. <laughs> so that's all bad. So, okay, so you can snare yourself, so you don't use your snare, then how do you kite? I mean, do you quad kite? Do, uh, do you quad kite as a wizard? <laughs> Rocket fuel. <laughs> yes, exactly. <Rocket> fuel. <laughs> I, I have day boots, and I run straight forward, full speed, and as soon as they, um, they're they far enough out of range, I just keep spamming my uh, AoE ability. And they get okay. really close. <laughs> really close to me before. It's It's scary. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now I know. Now uh, you're just as squishy. I'm. Uh, uh, in fact, I think my druid would probably be a little bit less squishy than you are. Because I remember, if you make a mistake, and uh, usually I get one mistake in, in Cobalt Scar when I'm quad kiting Wervens. Yeah. Uh, and if I make that mistake, you know, I might I might survive one hit. But sometimes when they hit you, they'll stun you, and then all the mobs will get a chance to hit you. And I remember dying a lot from that, actually. So does that happen to you as a wizard, also? Um, actually dying isn't an option for, no, I'm kidding. Um, it does happen, but it doesn't happen as much as, um, 
as it should happen. Just because... Why are you attacking me, guy? I didn't hurt you. I, well, I did, <laughs> but... <laughs> he likes you, man. <laughs> it's like, um, dark elves taste like roast beef. Yeah, if I'm going to die, it's because the whole stack hit me, but... I have um, right. some tricks under my sleeve to be able to not die. And if I if I get to where I'm below, say, 20 30%, then I'll just run it off end zone. Okay. Boy, it's nice not having a pool, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I feel safer already. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, AC. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time, man. Yeah, this is a really cool zone, and I love it out here. <laughs> props, props to Lou right there. Yeah, yeah. I keep seeing your uh, your guildmates walk by with their their shiny epics and all kinds of niceness. <laughs> Lou's a good guy. Is he? Yeah, he's a good guy. He, he looked like he was playing a ranger. Is that his class? Or? That is his ranger. Yep. Got okay. his uh, little lightning toothpicks in his hands. <laughs> See, guys, I'm intelligent. That is how you say it. Right? I mean, the, the epic in his hands didn't give it away. You went and got your education? Yeah, education, yeah. <laughs> I got my Jed. I got it at Dartmouth. <laughs> I got my great pen, man. <laughs> Trailer Park Boys style. <laughs> <sighs> so, are we thinking at some point? We're gonna move from the field over to uh, Tower of Frozen Shadow at some day, someday. Oh yeah, I definitely want to. I definitely want us I to level in Tower yeah. of Frozen Shadow. Uh, I definitely want to go in there, and I don't think I've ever been, man. I think there's places that, that even as much as I played this game back in the day, guys, I don't think I've ever been to Kaisora. I don't think mm. I've ever been to uh, Jagged Pine Forest, which that's not in the game, but I've never been. I mean, uh, you know, even when. Um, when I played Black in the Day for four years, uh, I never went to the uh, Stonebrunt Mountains over in Otis. I've never been there. Yeah. So there's uh, zones that I've never been to that I would really like to see. A Tower of Frozen Shadows is one where you definitely need a group to go past, say, the second floor. Yeah, I'd love to go, Shadow. man. I've heard good things. I've heard good. I've heard it's hard, and it gets progressively harder as you go up in levels. But I'm sorry, Chukaman. Go ahead, dude. No, I was going to say, it's, it's it's both a blessing and a curse. That zone is really good, but oh, so dangerous. Yes. Yeah, really good loot, though. It's worth it. Oh, yeah. I would love to get um, the Sorcerer's Bowl out of there. Yeah. But it's uh, it's permacamped, right? Like the zone, for the most part, pretty much? Um, Not really, honestly. I no. went in there the other day just to check something out, and there were two people, and they were all on the seventh floor. Really? Wow. Yeah. So, Chupa, what kind of mob do, can we expect to fight in that zone in the Tower of Resident Shadows? Well, what is the what is the the most common mob? There's a in, mix inside. of mobs. I mean, there's undead. There's um, tons of casters. That's the part that hurts. Yeah. I, am okay. I, okay. It's been a while since I've been there, but aren't there animated armors on one of the levels as well? I believe so. Ooh, yeah. I like that. Oh, I like that. <laughs> That's one of my. Uh, was, I remember that's one of my least favorite uh, foes to fight, in uh, in actual pen and paper Dungeons and Dragons, because uh, you couldn't morale them, you couldn't uh, give them a morale check. I think they were fearless, and most enemies, if you kill enough of them, or kill their leader or something like that, in pen and paper D and D, you can make them run. They'll run from you. They'll they'll fail the morale, but uh, animated uh, animated suits of armor were fearless. I. I, whenever I first fought them in Tower of Frozen Shadow, I was scared of them. But I really like the way they look. They they have a really cool look in this game. And I, uh, I even whenever you go to uh, Beyond the Arena in Kale, and then also in Awakening Lands, they uh, just the bigger they get, the the more menacing they are. Yeah, I think I only ever made it up to like the third or fourth floor. Before, uh, before I kind of finished with that zone and went on to doing raiding, for the most part. So it'd be interesting to make it all the way up. How high does it go, by the way? Seven you, floors. Yeah, it's got seven floors, and the seventh floor has two parts to it. So some people say, you know, eighth floor or whatever, but it's the same floor, just a different level of it, yep. different area. So say. who's the boss? Who's the boss in the tower, Frozen Shadows? Who's I, the big guy? I can't remember her name, but 
she evil. Oh, so it's a she. Yeah, okay. she's very she. evil. And is what level she is she? Uh, dark elf? Is she a uh, high elf? What kind of race is she? She's a vampire. Dark yeah. elf vampire, I think. Oh, okay, okay. And what level is she? I think those uh, are, aren't those the only vampires in the game. Oh no, there's some Sarnak vampires. That's right. My bad. And then Miss Moore. Check. Yep, and then the Dark Elf vampires. But uh, I thought that the the Dark Elves were the only vampires in the game. But I I think I'm wrong on that. I think there are Sarnak vampires out there. I think the leader of Kasura is actually a Sarnak vampire, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I, you mean um, uh, Zology or whatever his name is? I can't. Yeah, uh, Zalgaz or yeah, Z that's it. Z Z yeah, something like <laughs> something like that. <laughs> we need to camp him one day for his staff. Oh yay! All right. A staff of what? Uh, dreaded gaze. It allows you to fear. You can pretty so much you come out you... here and fear all these um, cougars. And as long as you have a large enough mana pool, you can just keep dotting them and then ferrying them off again. Well, my druid, I think my druid's going to enjoy being over here even before you can quad guy because I'm going to be able to charm one of these cougars and sick him off against one of his cougar friends. Yeah. And uh, uh, I was actually doing that uh, the other night on my druid in Eastern Commons. I was uh, I couldn't find any crag spiders because there was a high level guy in there killing all the crag spiders. Mm -hmm. So basically, what I did, I just went over to where the the gorge hounds were and started charming the gorge hounds. And it, I f I figured out that if I nuked and dotted the the gorge hound, my gorge hound was uh, fighting, and I put thorns on my gorge hound. I could go through two and a half uh, gorge hounds before I lost my pet. So it was actually a pretty good experience. So the uh, the boss in Tower of Shadow, her name is um, Serena, with a T at the beginning. Um, uh, you think she's open to uh, maybe a casual relationship, dude? Sure, it's gonna, it's gonna cost you. <laughs> <laughs> She's level you got 51. Digits, man. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, level yeah. 51. All right. You could theoretically ding 60 in that zone. Yes. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. I've seen mages take her and, and level there. I don't think I'd really want to because I love Seb. Like, I want to get to Seb as soon as possible. Oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. So, Bellis, man, I can't wait. The City of Mist, too, and Corners Castle mm -hmm. and Charduck. I just really have a soft spot in my heart for all the, the Kunark dungeons, man. I don't yeah. know what it is. We got a lot of heck but, levels um, to get through, so we'll be able to hit all of them pretty good. Yep. Yeah, the uh, it, I mean, Seb is where a majority of the good loot or the cool loot is in the game prior to Vilius. Yeah, and they got really challenging rooms. I mean, they, they really, each room from one to the other uh, has a, a life of its own, a different feel for, like, how you pull it and what you get, what type of mobs and the yeah. tactics you do. So I like that. I like how it's it's really just... Like, Corner's Castle, just, I mean, it's all about trains. Just just watching out for the trains and getting out of the way. But Seb, it has a whole different feel to it, and it's just one of my favorite zones out of the whole game. Well, yeah. no, as you go deeper into Corner's, you can uh, you can avoid the trains and stuff like that. It's just there at the, at the beginning, the entrance, where uh, uh, there's even supposed to be train etiquette in that zone, where you, like, uh, train to the right and uh, zone in to the left, I think, it's, uh, yeah. as you face outwards. Is it, no, you zone into the right, and then you zone out to the in. left. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah and zone out to the left. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, good luck with that one. <laughs> yeah, it, <laughs> that's just not last I've long. I've seen so many people die there because of <laughs> lack of train etiquette. Yeah, it's just train <laughs> etiquette in a lot of the zones over there because it, it, it all begins in Kearns. I, Kearns know, I was Tower, in Kearns yeah. actually today. Yeah, Kearns is how it's supposed to be, but people just they don't. They don't care, man. Those those only oh, places for them. I've been trying to train out to the it. to the right as you go out and zone into the left. So I think that's proper etiquette in Kearns too. But uh, yep. that's what we've yep. been trying to do anyway. We do try and train as you leave and then come in as you leave to the left or uh, it's to the right actually both ways. But it is a dangerous zone, man. I mean, uh, we're you know, we have, we've been over there for a few levels and we still haven't got. Uh, been able to go up the stairs and and go any higher. I think we did one time, and then we got pretty much owned and chased out of the out of the zone. So. That's in KC or yeah, Kearns. Yeah, I really want to go to Kesora, but I don't think we're ready yet. Uh, it's pro we probably want to be closer to forty. 
But if you go at 40, do you miss anything at the entrance? Will there be a few greens and stuff like that that you might not be able to get experience off of? Or um, The entrance isn't the important part, though. It's just once you get down towards yeah, the undead areas. That's where all the, the good stuff is at. It really doesn't matter because you're going to get swarmed by spiders as soon as you drop down. Yeah. The spiders. Oh, really? Those are the ones. Um, you can go in there and viz because the top part is in viz. Then. Yeah, because are there traps in there, too? Oh, oh yeah. Tons. Oh yeah, scores, drop points, one yeah. ways, all sorts of nastiness. Okay, sort is a fun zone. I have it. I have the. <laughs> I have the good no way he said it. <laughs> I have the good drops uh, memorized as far as how to get down to the the last guy. But I, if I have to get out of there fast, I have no clue what I'm doing <laughs> because I, I'm gonna die. Gate. Yeah, not everybody <laughs> has that one. Just leave that's, boom. That's, that's your fault. Yeah, you're getting left behind. <laughs> <Yeah, it's>, Should have <laughs> made a shadow knight. You can okay. that. <laughs> Only the non-believers oh. don't have gate. Mm-hmm. Although I'll be alright. I'm gonna make my little halfling rogue so I can pull myself out of the out of the zones eventually. Yeah, Chupa was telling me there's a few things you can get even if you're a tank that you can use gate with. Uh, those yes. potions that you were talking about. There's potions that you can get, get out some. of uh, oh. Fadar. There, it's a merchant. When, uh, whenever you go into the second half, the first uh, building that you come in straight to, they sell invis potions and I believe gate potions, but they're a thousand plat a piece. Or yeah, you can get the the helmet that the um, foot skull cap. Yep. Yes, that will port you to West uh, West uh, Commons, and it's rechargeable. Rechargeable, instant click. Yep. Oh, the over there hammer, right? But that, I don't know if that would be a good. No, no. This is an actual uh, helmet that you can put yeah. on, and you click it, and it'll take you straight to West uh, Common Lands. You are correct. Uh, oh, the I've heard the of OT that. hammer works too, but you better pray to RNG for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think uh, Thune would do very well over in the, the over there. Or does it? Does it port you directly inside? Because I know that there's a big gate guardian who would probably smash yeah. my face in. It puts you on one of the boats, and the sculpture oh, okay. that's on the boat okay. is indifferent. But yeah, you're gonna have to either swim around the outpost or get somebody to visit you at the, um, what they call Hammer Hill. Okay, all right. The hill is just when you get out of the boat to the right hand side. The hill's right there; you can't miss it. Don't you have to hit somebody I with the hammer too to, to make yeah, that work? It's got a yeah, it's got a proc. Okay. So hence, pray to RNG for it. <laughs> I've seen friends may not uh, come in the time guild. To save yeah, me, yeah, people in the guild. No kidding. Ten minutes, no procs, <laughs> and they have crazy amounts of decks. Yet, some with a little mage goes up there, first hit, procs off, and it's gone. <laughs> because it's intelligence. I know. I know it's decks. But... It's it. <laughs> it's embarrassing. What it is? It's cool. Well, isn't it? <laughs> it's best to just um, duel someone and have them sit as you hit them to get it to proc because it'll hit every time you sit. Hits don't actually matter for procs. You can proc on a miss. Oh, you can. Yeah, you can proc on a miss. That's that. That the hits don't mean anything. It's just a pure chance. Um, so with procing weapons, you have the hit chance and you have the proc chance. They're two different roles on the server side. Huh. It is too early for that. What? I'm gonna quit. We're yawning. yawning. Yawning, yeah, dude. <clears throat> I know. Yeah, cut it out. I swear, I, I'm making I sort of motion with my hands too. Dude. My sleep schedule. Oh, you're back in college, aren't you? Oh man, so. Uh, I start back up on Wednesday, but I can sleep till noon. The days I have class, it's the days I have work. That's the hard part. Hey, Logan, can you hook me up with the soap, please, sir? Um. Maybe. Why aren't you letting the Why aren't you letting the bard pull, sir? I mean, because if you have a good reason, a bad reason. Leave the bard back for the songs for the casters. Oh, that's yeah. Okay, see, I knew there was a reason that he was. Uh, do you really want falling. this uh, spirit of the wolf? Yeah. How bad do you want it? I don't need it. <laughs> I'm just waiting for one. How word. bad do you want it, dude? <laughs> I, I do this All right. Like All How right. Show off your J boots. <laughs> All right. I got a I got a sal potion. If he's not gonna hook you up, dude. No, 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 no. You do not give him your sal pods. I slaved for those. Still waiting for. What are you gonna make for some more, dude? I'm just waiting for a word that starts with E and ends with (laughs) Lee's.
Uh, that's brutal. Lab Lees. <laughs> Lab Lees. Lab Lees. Only because you have the cool helmet. He does have the cool helmet, man. I love those helmets. I need to My get me one with horns it. on it, too. Thum definitely likes to be horny. Wait. Yeah, but the, the chain mail doesn't look that bad either. <laughs> Every like, female character on this server already knows that. <laughs> yeah. Every dude that plays every, a chain knows that. Yeah, yeah every dude that plays a female chain. character. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that's hilarity right there, my friend. Hilarity. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. my god. I'm, I'm waiting one for yellow day. bubble away from 31. I'm waiting for the day that you you hit on somebody that I know and it's like, what's up with this dude? <laughs> <laughs> what's, what, what's wrong with this guy? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> dude, tell your friend to stop. I'm a guy. They don't understand. <laughs> I'm responding. I'm like, ah, he doesn't care, man. <laughs> Whatever keeps me warm at night, man. <laughs> he's, he's an equal opportunity any, lover. Yeah, any port in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I just need love, guys. I need love. Did you just <laughs> went there and did that? <laughs> it was a joke. <sighs> it is too last. Just remember, winter is coming. Exactly. We're up in our ankles with snow right I'm now. Doing that. My bad. <laughs> You're up no, in your ankles good. with snow. Look at where we're at. Don't even start. Oh Don't yeah, start. It's, this it's is like eight degrees play. outside right now. 80 degrees. It's like negative two. Yeah, it's like four degrees where I'm at. So I'm I'm feeling you a little bit there. Logan. We're freezing yeah. here. It's 40 degrees. <laughs> Did it's you just what? say you're freezing? It's 40 degrees. Yeah, yeah, Florida. You know, it's that's cold. not even it's cold freezing. Here. <laughs> that's uh, yeah. That's not even. <laughs> <laughs> you're a few off still slick. <laughs> Oh, shies and oh, not right now, boy. We're wearing shorts and tank tops, just chilling. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, you got the El Nino going on where you're at right now. You guys why, are lucky. Why I got to pull that in there, man? Why you gotta say El Nino? Why can't you just say the kid? <laughs> <laughs> I wish harsh we could come back to, harsh, to the mountains, man. It's been a it's been a really nice uh, winter actually because of El Nino, but now it's uh, El Nino has forsaken us. There you go again. <laughs> Why you do this? Why do you that. do this, Jesus? <laughs> I love you, dude. In a special way a man loves another man. Mm. Special way. Yeah, we just heard all about <laughs> a mountain. Don't back. make noises like that, dude. Thumes, thumes over here. Give me a belt loop. <laughs> put, put your pink in my belt loop. <laughs> what? You never heard of uh, that? <laughs> nah, nah, dude. What do you do with a belt You're loop? Saying all barbarians <laughs> are not like this one. This one is a special kind. <laughs> Anyone can have him if they want him. He's that special. <laughs> I mean, he does carry a big sword, and you know what they say about big swords. <laughs> Compensating much? <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, man, I'm a catcher, not a pitcher. Wait, wait, what? Where'd that come from? Yo, we weren't being that uh, obvious, just, but now you just went there and did that. You had to go there. You're right? like, yeah, I'll catch your balls anytime. Position, I played baseball. What the hell are you guys talking about? But <laughs> <laughs> you were a catcher. I was first nah, baseman nah, as a I catcher. Like... Yes. <laughs> nah, outfield's where it's at, man. Outfield. That's dirty, man. Guys are dirty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shite! You still getting the songs over there, guys? Um, he kind of uh, moves away from us a little bit. Part, yeah. Now I am. Okay, now nah, I'll, I'll try and pull him a little closer. I'm just afraid of um you guys getting sit aggro. Oh, I think we're fine. Add. I'm on oh, group sit percent all the time anyway. So, Let's cook hey guys, up. add. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really trying to take six dudes at once and a pet. Ooh. Wait, we're not talking about that. What? That was right Saturday over night. your head. That was Saturday night, dude. I'm telling you. Okay, I can't assist myself. So let's actually target something. I didn't do Here anything. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> what happened Saturday night? I didn't do anything. Where are the memes night. at? Dude? Where are the memes? Dude, no, no, the dank memes just came out today. 
<laughs> <laughs> no, I thought I was going to watch it, but so little internet, so little time. Yeah, that's so true. Mm -hmm. uh, I decided to uh, give a new school spin on EQ with some dank memes. <laughs> oh, you know how they have the the straight out of uh, photo changer or whatever, where you can change the bottom line. It's kind of like straight out of Compton, but you can change it. Uh, no, I don't no. know that. No. Oh, okay. Know so out. it's you know straight out of Compton, right? Yeah, because I used to listen to NWA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, well, you know how they're making that movie? That, well, it's actually coming out yeah, on DVD. Like, um, <laughs> okay, okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> shut up. We're shut up. Current shut events, up. guys. You know how they're making that movie of Paul 13? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. You know the logo, the logo that they have for it? They had oh it where God. you can change the bottom line and put in anything you want. So I want to do straight out of hot. Uh, Alas, for Thum and me. I just have a picture of us on the side. <laughs> oh, man. You should do it on the raft over there in Hollis. Huh? You guys oh. should run the Hollis over the, at the raft. Oh, yeah. You know, the yeah. We're swimming, just swimming the with the raft behind you. Uh, <laughs> I always swim that. AC always took the, took the raft. I always swam it. It's because I can never get out That's of that slide of water every time I get into it. Things are nightmare. <laughs> That's why my swimming is at 36 or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, if you do that, you should uh, put the song in the background, I'm on a boat, and do that like, whole music <laughs> video. <laughs> on a boat! Yeah. I just have that as like my uh, intro part to all my uh, EQ videos now. Straight out of Hollis, I'm on a boat! Yeah, if you get the rights to the song, that would be a great intro, man. That would be awesome. <laughs> or you could. Uh, I'm, I know I'm curious as how much you have to pay to to use a song like that in your in your videos. I it's wonder probably, how much that costs. It's probably not that much because the, you know the radios they do that crap all the time, and I can't see them spending you know thousands of dollars every day. So. Well, you could get some right. well, a cover um, of it, and then it, it doesn't matter because you've created your own version of it. I wonder if you have to pay for to use the song in one video, or, or if you pay for the rights to the song, you can use it for like a year or something like that. I wonder how that works, man. Mm. Probably I both. If you use five seconds or less, you don't need the rights. Yeah, but no, I mean, you have no. That's you have TV who uh, clearly they they get the rights for like a month, and then they play the crap out of whatever movie it is for a whole uh, month, and then they yeah. don't play it ever again. But then you have like the radio; they play it, you know, off and on whenever they feel like it. So. I bet you know you can get a whole you know bunch of different types of like renting you know basically by the number or by the the duration or something. It seems like if you want to get your song, song out there too, you're going to give the radio, uh, you know, you're going to give the radio a good deal if you like. Hey man, play my song. I want I wanted to get get it out there to the people. So uh, you know, I guess it would depend on the radio station. You know, if you're a uh... you're not playing your ogre chupa. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> but slide, but slide. Uh, straight out of G <laughs> City. What is going on? I think it's all over the place. <laughs> oh. I, couldn't help, I couldn't help myself. I had something on my ass. It's like, keep away the cougar. I sour my soul. <laughs> Not me. Not it. I sour your soul. I sour your soul. You guys keep making me want to go back and watch that one again. <laughs> I watched this movie today. It's called... Uh, uh, something about an institute, and it was about this lady who came in. They were testing her for psychic ability, and she tested way off the charts. But it turns out she was possessed by a demon, and then the United States military got a hold of a hold of her and started trying to use her for uh, to do military things with, like kill people in Russia and stuff like that, and and some with submarines. It was actually a fairly well done movie, even though the concept was kind of. Okay, so the uh, the, the, the American government's going to use demons. Yeah, so it was it was just weird. Oh, uh, well, I midnight, mean, midnight, midnight behind us. Oh yes, yeah, snag it, man. Let me root Wait, this one. I got it. Okay, that's uh, the name on well, back no, there. That sounds like the. Uh, have you guys seen the third X Men movie that they did? Uh, what was that? Uh, first class. No, 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 it was. Oh, the that one was where, uh. uh Jean 
the bridge where Jean, Magneto Jean lives to the bridge. Phoenix? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. Like, we're, um... The movie you just described kind of sounds like the same story arc of that movie. Really? But instead of, you know, the yeah, instead of the U.S. Demons, government, yeah, demons instead of demons, it's uh... Magneto. Yeah. Alright, I got this one. Magneto is like basically one of my favorite bad guys in all of comics and stuff like that. I really, really like Magneto. I think he's probably one of the stronger villains. Everybody says it's Doctor Doom, but I think Doctor Doom's a punk, dude. <laughs> dude, Doctor Doom. I don't know what he, shit. <laughs> uh, he's a punk, dude. Compared to Magneto, Magneto would destroy Doctor Doom because Doctor Doom wears metal right, armor. Wait, dude. Wait, so wait, game over right there, dude. Are, are, are we are we talking are we talking uh, Marvel or DC? We need to get that in line first. No, uh, which one? Doctor Doom and uh, Doctor Doom and uh, Magneto are both Marvel, dude. So DC yeah, they're both Marvel. All right. Well, I, 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 I like what we're I doing like is we're being super nerdy, 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 dude. <laughs> 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 dude. Super nerds. <laughs> magic <laughs> missile. <laughs> Fire magic missile at the darkness. <laughs> Where's the Doritos oh, and Mountain Dew? <laughs> what was Worf. it that they were arguing on the oh. Big Bang Theory, whether somebody could pick up Thor's hammer or something like that, and the girls got involved in it? Did you see that oh, episode? I don't, rem uh, I don't yeah. remember. Uh, I, I think I, I have seen that, that episode. episode, yeah, but I don't remember it. Uh, and they started thinking about, well, what if he's riding in an elevator and he puts it down, then the <laughs> elevator is worthy of the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Another hey, ad. Uh, Go ahead and loop midnight when you get a chance, AC. I like how they were um, they were all dressed as a Flash for that one Halloween party, and they decided to walk back to back, so it looked like the the Flash was speeding. Ah, <laughs> 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 so, uh, just man, you know, I love I love nerd it, it, culture, man. I'm a I am a nerd, so yeah, I enjoy it. You got them, you know what's good? good with these cougars? What's that? Uh, hamburger and pickles dipping sauce? after the cougars. Uh, <laughs> I totally. Is it hamburger and pickles? Well, oh, yeah. I didn't open the video, sir, so they're not my hamburgers <laughs> or my pickles to, to handle. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I mean, are we going to switch to dinosaurs, though? Oh, yeah. Uh, every, yeah. Everybody get on the yeah. floor and do it like Velociraptors, yeah. Velociraptors, huh? Yeah. Doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> I want to see it. Picture sure it didn't happen. Dude. Get down. You're embarrassing Picture us. Sure it didn't happen. Caca, caca. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go ahead and end here. I want to go ahead and thank my friends here. As you uh, you know, we have Hydro Sync. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching the video. I love your butts collectively. <laughs> <laughs> AC Gamer. Hey, guys. Uh, thanks for loving my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gaming. Uh, thanks for loving Bears butts. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Chupa on his uh, squishy little monk bear. I'm doing slaloms. <laughs> <laughs> we see that. He's trying to be spots, an ogre, dude. Son. And then shout out to our uh, our bard who is imitating Richie. a actual warrior. <laughs> 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 right. Thank you guys. This is Cypher Deck. I hope you have a great day. Peace out. Subscribe. Subscribe. Like and favorite.